Hey you guys, everybody, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get um, better with the uh, videos and do some uh, projects where I'm actually uh, making the jewelry. That's what I'm going to step back into. But I hope you guys had a pleasant day today. I think it may be around close to 8 o'clock. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, much love to you. Much love to you. So what I have tonight is a little mini haul from Hobby Lobby. I kept seeing everybody, you know, well, not everybody, but a few people put up videos about Hobby Lobby with their clearance. So I thought, well, let me go through there today. I went, you know, for a little bit, uh, probably about 20 minutes in there. I said, let me go through there and see what they got. Enough just to scan because... I pretty much know they, their layout, uh, where they keep everything, so it didn't take long for me to go through. So I didn't do a video, didn't even, well, actually, I left my phone at home. And I'm like, nope, I'm not going to turn around. But anyway, I have a little mini haul. I have beads, and I have some wire. But anyway, let's hop into it. So... This is new since I've been, I think since I've um, been in Hobby Lobby. I don't go in there too much because like I said, I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. I need to save instead of spending. So I'm just going to utilize the material that I got. But if I could find something like this, I think this might be new. I'm not sure, but you know, if anybody who's an avid shopper in um, Hobby Lobby have came across these and have used these and say, no, they've been there for a while. You know, just hit me up in the comment. But I think this is my first time ever paying these some attention. This is a six millimeter gold bead. And it's by Jewelry Shop. And it says, it says six or eight. Eight millimeter gold bead, and they're saying it's. I'm gonna put it right there. It's 14 karat heavy gold plated, sweat and water resistance. So I'm like, okay, let me give that a try. They were like three ninety nine. Let's say four dollars, and they won't sell for half price, two dollars. So. I got two packs. I got 12 of these. So we're going to see how they work. I'm going to use them on um, some beads, like probably a bracelet for me. And I'm going to um, shower in it, sweat, you know, wear it daily, and see how it holds up. And if it holds up, then they got a winner. I'm not going to put any type of uh, sealant or anything on it. I'm just going to wear it just like that. Because that's, I mean, if they could get a sweat and water resistant bead, that's that's awesome. And I got this. It's a German style wire. So this is uh, ideal for wire wrapping. I got this piece right here. And from my understanding, the, this is an 18 gauge. They didn't, I wish they had 16, but 18 gauge, you could wire wrap beads. And... I think with this gauge also, it will might fit in your ear. I'm not sure. I don't. Not, you might could make earring hooks out of this. I'm not sure. You know, with the 18 gauge. But I know you can with the 16 gauge. And the 20 gauge. But anyway, I'm going to use utilize this for wire wrapping. Let's see if I can read the back. They wrap burlets, wire wrapping, links. You know, they don't really put a whole lot of information on these things. Especially if this comes from China. Let's see. Okay, it came from Pakistan. 
I don't know. Lately, you know, people just don't put a lot of instructions in their um, product anymore. Even if you order something off uh, Amazon, you just get the uh, uh, the uh, product you order with no instructions at all. So I got the uh, gold and I got the silver. And this German wire is supposed to be pretty good. It's not supposed to uh, change color. So I got some projects coming up. And we're going to see how this works. Okay, I got two of those. And I got one of these because I already got 11. I gave uh, these one to my niece. She was... Uh, she's a cancer, so I gave in the collection that I got, I gave her the cancer, and I'm like, okay, I need one more to add to the uh, pile, and I'm going to sell all 12 of those together. So I'm going to try to open up my um, website for a wholesale. Let's we'll see how that goes. So that's why I got this right here, just to add to the 12, you know, to the... Uh, what do you call those things? To the um, zodiac sign. To the zodiacs. To make it back complete. Sorry about that, child. My head, you know, a little scattered there. And I got, uh, these are glass beads. They like bicone shape. And I think they are so darling. So I'm using... to make some of these also for my uh, website. So I got these in the um, 24 piece glass. This is like a, this is eight millimeter. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder because for some reason when I film, my phone wanna just go low for some reason. So I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder, okay? And this is like a 10 millimeter sort of shaped like a bicone, but it got some a little different shape on that one. And this is glass. Both of those were glass. And I got a got these. These are regular $6.99. Let's say $7. And they for like $174. And these are preciosis. And they said these were made in China, Republic. And they crystals. And 30 is supposed to be on here. And they are six millimeter and they crystal ABs. So these make beautiful earrings. So that's the plan for those. And these are six millimeter bicones. Aren't that gorgeous? Look how they just, I love the crystal effect. These are gonna be beautiful with some earrings. I got it in that color. This color is like a tangerine, tangerine, beige like color, which I thought was beautiful. And this is a same size, six millimeter. I don't like to deal with them when they get too small. Uh, Preciosas. Uh, and these are by B Treasure. And these are called Labrador, like a Labrador color. I think these are so gorgeous. Okay. I love these. So that is my little mini bead haul, guys. So guys, please like and share the video and continue. Please continue to come back as I um, begin to rise up again with this channel. <laughs> But I, my phone's been acting up. That's why I've been away for a few days. I had to get a charger, another charger, because the one, the chargers keep breaking. Even though, like I said, my phone is kind of, my phone is at least five years old. I think I bought it. Oh, man. I know I, I kind of need to get an updated phone. So hopefully soon, but right now I can't. So I got to stick with what I got. But guys, thank you for coming to this channel. And if you have any questions, you could uh, hit me up in the comment. And I really thank the uh, 
subscriber who told me that my video was too far back. I really do appreciate that. But, you know, I love um, advice. That is, you know, constructive ad advice, and it's done in a beautiful, you know, a nice manner. I don't mind, you know, you giving me hints, you know, clues, you know, or whatever. I, you know, I'm just, you know, new over here trying to get this all figured out. But thank you guys, and I will catch you probably tomorrow, because tomorrow I'll probably be making some earrings. So like I said, I'm trying to uh, open up my uh, website for like wholesale, see if I can sell some things through wholesale. And you can also reach me on Depop. I got some pieces up there also. So I'm going to see how they do on Depop. If they don't, I'm getting a lot of likes and Depop got it set up where they can bid on your pieces, send you an offer. Well, if they say they like it, and then uh, the way Depop set up is say send offer. So I have to go in, tap on it, and like if I want to reduce my price down a few dollars or whatever, and then it's up to them to accept it. And if they accept it, they'll put it in their basket. But so far I got a lot of likes, likes, like, da 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 da. I counter offer, which I said I wouldn't do. But. That's it. You know, they have like, I think, 24 hours to respond. So I might have to move on to another um, selling uh, platform. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I still got my, um, what's that one up that I've had up for a long time? I used, I had clothing on it. And I got a lot of likes on that. And I never did get any sales on it. Is it Macari? Yeah, Macari. And it was one I actually I didn't like. I hated that that one. I, I was, but I think, no, no, yeah, Macari. I did not. I don't think I like. I didn't like Macari at all. I got ripped off on there a little bit. Poshmark. I was been. I was on Poshmark back during the Big C. Uh, that's when I was selling a lot of clothing. So actually, guys, I got like 400, almost 500 followings on Macari. Didn't, I'm not Macari, but Poshmark. I didn't even know that. So I went back in and I went, okay. So I might put some pieces on Poshmark. If not, I have a lot of uh, books that I could put on there also. Uh, Self-healing books, a lot of uh, old books, spiritual books, um, a couple of Bibles, you know, or whatever. That I just, you know, might put on there and sell. See how that do. But I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, thank you guys for coming to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next video.